what is this ketosis? What is this keto diet? What's this ketone thing? Do you ever get asked that? <coughs> Actually, it's in this book as well, which is nothing to do with it. So, hey Tony, what's ketosis? Well, it's fairly simple. Our bodies originally were designed like a hybrid car to run on two energy sources. Glucose, which you get from carbs and sugars and whatnot, and fats, which we consume. And sometimes, you know, in, in uh, paleo times or whatever it is, it would be seasonal. Sometimes of the year you've got more fat, sometimes of the year you've got less. But the fat stores, and when you can't get the carbs and sugars, we'd run off the fats. Now, fat has about a 35% higher yield of energy source than carbs and sugars. Our body will always go not to the highest energy source, but to the easiest one. When we eat a Western diet that's loaded with carbs and sugars, that's the easiest one. And we eat and we get energy and then we crash. So we eat again and we crash again and we eat and we crash and we eat and we get crash and we get food comas around Christmas. And that's why. So while we're doing this eating and craving for carbs and sugars, guess what's happening to the fat? Nothing. It's storing. First place it stores, around the organs in the torso, causing inflammation it's not the only place you get the inflammation, causing inflammation, which often leads to worse things. Inflammation being the main cause of most diseases, cancers, heart diseases. So ketogenics is the art of switching our fuel source. So when you think about this, how can I stop start burning fat and stop using carbs and sugars I just cut off my fuel source of carbs and sugars and this is what's known as a ketogenic diet however it's incredibly hard to stick to one you know it's 10 days two weeks to get into that state of ketosis and then one one bite of a cookie can just throw you right out and you got to start the whole thing again and it does have side effects I've heard of, you know, headaches, dehydration, all kinds of stuff. If you like that kind of thing, that's great. However, there's now another way to do it. What the SEAL teams found years ago is they were having a higher than average rate of seizures, especially amongst the divers. And they looked into it, and you know, part of it, you're out on ox, you're not eating as well as you should be. When they looked into it, the ketogenic diet, which is around a hundred years old as in those labels, but goes back to the ancient Greeks, goes back to the Tarahumara Indians, got it just it's centuries old. It was originally developed in the 20th century for seizures, epilepsy, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, that type of thing. They found it had a massive reversal on those. The byproduct of burning fat for energy is you're burning fat. You're not hiding it, you're not masking it, you're not wrapping it. You're burning it, it's gone. So what happened a few years ago, University of South Florida, Dr. Dom D'Agostino started developing a cheat system. Instead of it taking 14 days to kick in, he developed something. It was funded by DARPA, and if you don't know who DARPA are, DARPA are kind of that secretive government military research organization that produces all the weird stuff that no one talks about they don't answer to anyone but they do solve challenges that are insolvable as the saying goes if it's impossible get DARPA to do it 
So DARPA funded more research. They developed a ketone or an exogenous ketone. That word doesn't even mean anything to me. Basically a cheat system. Instead of two weeks, what they developed will allow you to get in that system anytime in less than an hour. That's state of ketosis in less than an hour. So you're into that stopping craving carbs, stopping craving sugars, more or less instantly. So that's what we do. Any other questions, put them on the stream. Guys, have a great one. I know we always get asked that.